Hello guys and welcome to Ulydia video number 8. For those of you who haven't been following the project, Ulydia is my RPG set in Ireland around about the 9th century during the Viking attacks. You play as Malik Cullen who is a new recruit into the Red Branch Knights who are sworn to protect and follow King Conchabar Macnessa. Now, since our last update, we have a few graphical additions. The new water shader that is in the game is nearly finished. We just need a bit of surf around the edges here to complete that one. Other visual effects, if I can come over to the village here, you would know, now notice that there are particle effects in the game. So we have smoke coming out of the chimneys and we also have fire effects as you can see at this cooking tripod these will eventually be dotted throughout the game and they will be used in the cooking process of trade skills so another part of trade skills you notice a minute ago i was on the pier over there those will be used in the fishing part of the trade skill and you can then get a fish, come over to your cooking tripod and cook that up as extra stat food. Now, graphically as well, we have a few interiors added into the game. This is one of the taverns. You will always be looking for a tavern in the game as these are sources of a place where you can sleep. They are also sources of rumour. You can find out a lot of information in the tavern just by talking to the people who are in here. You can also get a hot fit in here to increase your stats. Let's go back out into the village. Other additions to the game, we now have a chat system in place. So if you left click on one of the characters, you can see they are highlighted by their health bar being in the target window down here. We then can just type to the people. Hello. Father Quaid says greetings. Let's find what he's been doing. What have you been doing today? Father Quaid says I was hunting this morning, now I look forward to the stew. Sounds good. Goodbye. Father Quaid says goodbye. Now, that is in a very bare bones state at the minute. Eventually I will hope to have the game recognizing an awful lot of words so that you can pretty much type in whatever you want to the characters and it doesn't become frustrating in any shape or form. Other things we've added into the game since the last time is a fully integrated and working inventory system. If we go over mouse over an item that we need to pick up it'll tell you what the item is you left click on those items to pick them up and they will go into your inventory now we bring the inventory up with the i key you can see we have a lot of things in our inventory here there are four bags in the inventory each bag holds 15 items so you have a total of 60 items that you can carry at any one time now, if we mouse over the item, you can see that they highlight. Left click on the item, it will give us a graphical representation here, plus the stats of the item down here. We have three extra buttons down here that we can use. You can use the item, so if it's food, you use it, that'll eat the item, that'll put your stats directly onto your character. If you're within a trade skill window with one of the merchants, you can sell the item. Or you can quite simply drop the item if you no longer require it or it has taken up too much space. So let's drop that apple. You now see it has disappeared from our inventory. And if we back up, you'll see that the apple is here on the ground. And if we wish, we can just pick that back up again and it'll go back into our inventory. As well as the inventory system, the merchants are all added in and they are working. So if we come over to Will Finnook in here, who is a bread merchant, if we hit the T key on our keyboard, that will bring up the trades window. And you'll see he has various different types of bread here for sale and other commodities used in the baking process. Uh, I fancy a wheat and loaf, so if we highlight the wheat and loaf, you will see that he also has three buttons down here. 
you can either buy the item for the value that he's selling it at, or you can barter for something that you have in your inventory of an equal value, or you can haggle to try and get the price down a bit. But let's just buy the item for the time being. So if we buy that and go back into our inventory window, we will now see that we have the wheat and loaf. The value has dropped dramatically. That is because anything that you sell to an item will not have the same resale value. The merchant will have to make a bit of profit on it. So we decided we don't want this particular book. We might have it somewhere else. You will see the value here is 750. If we sell the item to Will and go back into the trade skill window, you'll notice he has the item here for sale, but its price has increased an awful lot. That is because the merchants will always need to make a profit off what you sell to them. Now, let's go out of there. If we come up this way, I can show you another one of the interiors. If you go up to the door and get close enough to it, it will highlight over your mouse whose home it is. You left click on there, that will take you into the house. Every player that um, is in a village will have his own home of some description, if of course they aren't nomads living out in the wild. As you can see there's a nice fire going in this one to keep the place warm. So if we back, come back out into Carolyn Village again, we are going to be working predominantly in the near future with uh, combat and all the systems that are required to go in with combat. We need to get that done because we need the quest and system also in. So what we're aiming for at the minute is a full game loop that we can use and refine and change things as they're needed to be. But we really need to get all the systems into the game and working. Combat will be a mishmash of various styles. I'm going to use the style of Skyrim. That's the kinetic feel of combat that actually makes it feel like you're going toe to toe with someone, swords are clashing and shields are getting battered during the fight. But I also want a sort of a split second decision being made within the game so that if a character is taking a swing at you, you then have a split second chance to actually block that or vice versa to counter attack or parry with the sword. Now, I think that'll do us for the time being. Uh, next time I'll hopefully have an awful lot to show for you combat-wise, and we'll hopefully get things nice and bloody for you in the next video. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. I really appreciate the interest in the game, and I will speak to you again soon.